everyone, and welcome to another segment of AstrologyAnswers.com's weekly horoscope. My name is Terence Scardino. Well, this is the last week before the new moon that starts officially on late Friday here on the west coast of the United States or into early Saturday morning on the 28th in Europe. This last week, always the last week before the new moon, is a time for wrapping up previous projects, previous goals. It's a time of winding down, uh, reflecting on what has transpired, getting ready for the new. In other words, it's not the best flow of energy to be uh, beginning major new projects. It's sort of like swimming against the stream or the stream isn't yet moving in the direction you want it to go in. On Monday, January the 23rd, Mercury, communication Mercury, is very favorable with Neptune. This is a good day for artists, for uh, compassion. Uh, Mercury, Neptune can be very intuitive, very inspirational, uh, imaginative. Also, as we start the week, the moon will be in more outgoing, adventurous, optimistic Sagittarius. And that'll go until late Tuesday when the moon will move into Capricorn, more pragmatic, responsible, cautious Capricorn until late Thursday. But Capricorn is the sign prior to Aquarius and this next new moon is in Aquarius. So this particularly Wednesday and Thursday with the moon in the dark phase of the new moon, um, this is a time best to uh, just hold back, uh, reflect, uh, do a little soul searching, uh, good for maybe some research, but not yet ready to make those important decisions. On Friday, as the moon has entered into Aquarius, about ready to set up the new moon later that day or early Saturday, Aquarius is a sign that's more uh, quirky, innovative, outgoing, certainly very friendly. But on Friday, the 27th, um, relational Venus is being aspected by cautious Saturn. So relationships, maybe friendships because of the moon in Aquarius, may be tested. You might also be worried a bit about finances. But later that night, Friday into Saturday, is this new moon. Now this new moon in Aquarius always marks the beginning of the Chinese New Year. Uh, the Chinese New Year begins on the first new moon in Aquarius. And this new moon in Aquarius sets the tone um, for the next four weeks. And especially this weekend of the 28th, the 29th, but probably more so into uh, the following week, uh, the next work week on Monday, um, you're ready to like move into new territory, try new things. The previous new moon was in Capricorn. It started with Mercury in retrograde. We were also moving, you know, out of the holiday season. And our focus might have been more tenuous, more cautious. What's going to happen to the world? Well, you know, where is my, you know, what do I need to plan for for the new year? And there might have been much more trepidation, more cautiousness. That's the Capricorn. But now with this uh, new moon in Aquarius, a bit more risk-taking, trying new things, open to new ideas, being more uh, uh, friendly and sociable. And that's setting the tone this Saturday with the Chinese New Year. Before I sign off, I remind you again that I'm available for a one question offer for a nominal fee through the Astrology Answers website. But it's kind of difficult to locate me, at least I couldn't find myself easily. So go. As you're watching the video, click on the button that says YouTube and 
when you, and in the description box under the YouTube channel, um, if you, maybe you have to hit, uh, click show more so you can scroll down to the bottom where there has been a direct link to be able to order the question from me. Um, and again, I always remind you the time of birth is so important. And if you will put the birth information, the birth date, the time, the place, um, again in the message there so I can have it accurate. So I want to thank you for tuning in. I hope to see you next week for my next segment. Until then, Happy Chinese New Year.